and welcome to round three of the Galway Q2 kit with me, Rebecca Gillard, and joined by Richard as always. Hello. Hello, Richard. So on the board then we have got Isian playing Greyjoy Winter and Alex playing Night's Watch. Um, and I believe that's Night's Watch Crossing that he's got there. Um, so I think Alex was telling you a little bit about his deck, wasn't he? He's talking about his, uh, what is it? Yeah, it's... Um, Ultron Jon Snow? Yeah, new Jon Snow, the, the standy, wildling you one. Okay. Um, him with lots of attacking stuff. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for being uh, very concise. <laughs> I'm, I'm more excited about Isian's start. I mean, that's, that's like a wonderful start. Yeah. Euron Chud producer. I mean, the only way that could get any better is with a dupe on Euron, I guess, but I certainly wouldn't say no to that start. I'm sure he'll have saved in hand. Yeah. Especially yeah. when he's playing the Winter Agenda, he's not going to be flush with money all the time. That's true. So, uh, yeah. That's been pretty good for Isian's point of view. And Alex has Egret, Obvious Hunter, Wildling Scout, and Egret is Sworn to the Watch. Oh, okay. Can you tell me what that does again? Because I always get mixed up with those ones. Yeah, it will give her traits. So, it will because she had a military and an intrigue icon, mm-hmm. she is now a ranger and a steward. Oh, right. Okay. Pretty funky. Yeah. I guess with the newer Night's Watch cards, that can actually be quite relevant, can't it? It can, but I think it's jank. <laughs> it's jank. You think lots of things are jank. Born to the Watch is jank. I don't know, I'm quite excited to see how, how Alex's uh, deck plays in this game. I know he did quite well over the, the weekend with other games and that, so... True. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how it goes. So Isian then is first player here, he's played Noble Cause. Um, Alex played trading, so he seems he's got plenty of gold. Yeah, he couldn't get loads of stuff out. Wow, so he's reduced by two. Um, now he's reduced uh, and played out Victarium. Also got an iron mine there down on the board. So Lovely job. He's not jubbly. too worried. The reducer. Uh, still got four gold left. Is he going to find something to use it on? Oh. Of course he is. He's got a handful <laughs> of cards. He does, but you know, sometimes it's better not to just spew out all your cards in one go. Wait, what? He just put that back in his hand. What does he put back in his hand? He paid for the chud and then put the chud back in his hand and took his gold back. Oh. <laughs> Think it through, man. What? Um. Okay, so he's he's played a reducer, but he's played it now and then used that to help pay for Asher. Oh, God. Do it in order, Issian. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make it fun for commentating on. <laughs> Bless him. So, um... Isian is playing winter, but because he's not got a winter plot out, Ash, sorry, not Ash, um, Alex does get his full 10 gold. Um, so we'll have to see what he plays with it. He's got a King's Road out, which is popping straight away. I think he's got John. Yeah, John. He has got John. Okay, so tell me tell me about John. So is he 6 or 7 cost? 7 cost, 6 strength, okay. military intrigue with stealth. And a little reaction that says, um, after you win a challenge um, with either attacking with wildling characters or defending with Night's Watch characters, then you can stand them. Oh, right, okay. And you get to stand all of them? Maybe. <laughs> we'll say yes for the moment and then just see what happens. Googling card now, guys. <laughs> okay, so then Alex has got out John. Um, so... If Richard isn't right at what he says, um, technically Egret's now a Night's Watch card, right? Because of Sworn to the Watch? Yep. So her reaction would work. Um, has Alex just played something out on Euron there? Probably, what, Craven? Possibly, yeah. I think Alex didn't take enough gold. Um, I think he only took nine because he thought it was winter. But he, so he just took gold back. And then used all four to play for the pay for the guy on the end, which Jeremy is... Ricker. And what does he do? He distributes power icon to rangers. Oh, so Egret's uh, got power. Old Hunter is a bicon now. And Egret's a tricon, right? Correct. Oh, that's pretty nifty. What a load of jank. I mean, what a load of jank? He's now got like you know however many cards on the board with power icons and stealth, and they all get to stand, and it's quite cool. Yeah. No. But I'll tell you what, though. Oh, he milked you on. I'll tell you ah, what, though. As a Greyjoy player, I'm looking at Alex's board. 
and in my mind I'm thinking Valar because mm. you know there's no saves. That's the point. And attacking Night's Watch, I guess, maybe susceptible to to the Valar more than more than some. He's got the Iron Mind on the board. You might think he got ridden from the sea in hand. It's like the Drakaris. You always kind of assume that it's in hand. Yeah. I think if you're playing against Greyjoy, you've got to assume that Valar's going to happen at some point. Yep. Um, but, yeah, Alex played out John anyway. So we're seeing, um, went in with a challenger trying to stealth Egret. Whoops. Not realising that she has the icon and has stealth. So um, Isian's taken it back and stood everyone back up again. Didn't Alex have another carrot on the board a minute ago? Wildling carrot. Did he sack it to give someone stealth? Um, yes, he sacked it to give... The dude on the end that I forgot the name of, Stealth. Jeremy. Jeremy. One Jeremy. Okay. Right. So he's defending with everyone, because of course if he wins his challenge... He can stand them all. He can stand them all. There we go. It is stand them all. Did you check it online as well? Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, so Alex defends with everyone, wins, and gets to re-stand. So basically what he's done there, essentially, is just knelt out two of the Greyjoy's best characters for no reason. Seems good to me. Barring a nightmare, is that, you know, it's good. Yeah. One well time nightmares on John and that plan falls apart, I suppose, but he <laughs> yeah. wins the challenge. Don't think Issin's got any gold left, though, so he didn't have to worry too much about that this round. And then we've got an entry coming in from the Euron, um, which I don't think Alex can. Def oh, can he defend? Yeah. What's can John on? John's six. Six. Egret's three. So yeah. that's nine strength. He can defend. He's not going to, though. Is John limit once per turn? He is. Okay. Scaling the wall. What's that one? Well, you pay a goal when you win with an attacking wildling character and you can send a location. I think it's either discard or send it back to the opponent's hand. Okay. So you're playing some new cards. I know. This is quite exciting. I'm learning loads already. <laughs> mm. So you've got military with stealth. Unopposed claim the chud. Intrigue with stealth, unopposed. Mind you, the stealthy pretty irrelevant here. Yeah. And takes a... Um, um, oh, what's the green icon dude? Lannis... Not Lannis Bort, that's the wrong faction. <laughs> green icon dude. Yeah, little green icon kneels a location. The that's the one, the shipwright. I don't listen to ships. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Read the cards. I can't, they're too small. <laughs> Have you looked at scaling the wall? Yeah, it returns them to the hand. Cool. Which is fine if it's the wall. Probably not worth it for an iron mines. Yeah. But I guess it still slows them down, doesn't it? That was a quick wow. power turn 6 nil. Okay, so um, first player is Alex. He's used Fallen from Favour to um, sacrifice John, so he's not dead. And then Valar hits, and Alex kills the rest of his characters. Um, Isian now playing Risen on Victarion, and Alex says okay, um, indicating there's no hands judgment. Then Isian seems like he's changing his mind. Not sure I'd be entirely happy with that. Hmm, <laughs> cheeky. Hmm, that's all right. It looks like for all intents and purposes, the game is probably over. Yeah, I mean, Alex is gonna get seven gold, right? So as so long as he can get a few more characters back on the board. Yeah, but, oh, mind you, <clears throat> it has got no claim. He's got an iron mine, he's using a risen. Yeah, he's used his risen He's only got on... two cards in hand as well, actually. Okay. Yeah, it still but could with, be right. But with Asher, he can, you know, unless Alex has stealth characters, he can use her twice. Hmm. He's going to sack Euron. I mean, he's milked, I guess. He's not getting renown and things off of him. I know, but you can use Asher for military and power challenges. Yeah, that's true. He seems really not... <laughs> very he's, not he's not very happy, is he? <laughs> he's not happy at this stage. Mm. <clears throat> Risen on Euron. I do think it's a little bit naughty changing his mind after Alex indicated that he didn't have... The hand's judgment, but I guess he's put Risen on Victorian, which he originally did anyway, so that's, In the end that's it works acceptable. Out okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it could change your mind, couldn't it? If you know for definite your character's gonna be saved with the Risen. And then it's like, oh okay, well who do I want to have plus one? 
stealth character with plus ones and the intimidate, sorry. Mm. Um, with plus one does look good. Okay, so Isian left with Victorian and with Asher. So this is a pretty nice, um, well, pretty nice board after Valar for, for Isian. Alex might struggle a bit here, so we'll see what he can play out. I have no idea what they are. A just... Lost Ranger. Yep. Two gold, four strength, military only. You have to sacrifice them at the end of the challenge phase if there are no more Rangers in play. Okay. And Gren, who three gold, uh, three strength, military, and you can move power um, to an, to another attacking character who attacks with him. Okay. Two power if that person is standing. Cool. <coughs> and is Gren a Ranger as well? Correct. Cool, so we don't have to worry about the Lost Ranger getting lost. So we've got a military coming in then from Alex. Is he... <laughs> Did Is he, he just defend? He defended then restood. Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> so right, what what strength has Alex got there? Seven. Seven strength. So Isia needs to defend with both. Well, Alex is repping the put to the sword, isn't he? He's got two gold. If he unopposes it, there's danger. Mm. So he's going to block with one. He obviously was initially going to win the challenge, but now decided so not to because he can get two challenges through. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. He's defended and won, apparently. Yeah, but he's Knights of the Cross, uh, Lords of the Crossing. Oh, Alex is. Ah, oh, yeah. right, yeah, So okay. he's actually... He's Five strength in the challenge, Victoria and six strength because of Risen from the Sea. Right, okay, I'm with you. I was worrying about that then. But yeah, I forgot about the crossing. And then Asher, of course, going with an unopposed military, unopposed power, and then also gets to win Dom because she's standing. So Isin gets a nice little jump there. And suddenly Alex is looking um, not quite so firmly in the lead. How is Isin only on four power? Because he got down to zero, didn't he, on the last turn? Two unopposed. Oh, did he draw from the Great Kraken? Um, two must, unopposed, one from Victorian. Drawn. Yeah, must have been Kraken, I guess. Must have drawn one and then took power for another. Okay, Six, four. So. Time for the guys to build. Well, you say that, but um, Isin's just played first snow. And Alex just played summons, so he's going to struggle to um to be able to afford <clears throat> to put more than one character on the board, unfortunately. Mm, ouch. So he's summoned for John. Um, so he's going to have his John back in hand. He's not going to be able to afford him. Um, and to be honest, if that was the only character you'd be able to put down on the board, I wouldn't want to put him on the board because <laughs> he'd die, basically. Yeah. So not looking great for Alex at the moment. Um, of course, this one will be left with Asher and Victorian and whatever else he can afford to put out. So, um, yeah, not looking brilliant. Yeah, he'll look. This one will have five resources to spend. Maybe more if he got something in hand. Mm. Alex, however, just has four plus an ocean mode. Yeah. And he can have no <coughs> characters on the board. Yeah, that, that <coughs> that's going to be insurmountable, I would think. Yeah, Alex doesn't look too happy. Okay, let's see if um, if um, Isian can get anything else out. So he's got newly made lord. So that only works on non-limited? Correct. Okay, so his Ocean Road is safe at least. Um, Alex taking four gold because he's got his Ocean Road. Um, oh, three gold, sorry, because it's uh, winter. It's cold. It's very cold. Plays out his Rose Road, so a bit of economy set up for next turn. It's in having a nice little prey on the left-hand <laughs> side. <laughs> Praying that uh, Alex doesn't find anything good. I don't think he need to pray. No. I think if Alex had something to put out, he would put it out. Yay, he okay. duped Gren. <laughs> Gren's sticking around. Okay, so he just needs one more <coughs> character. With three gold. That won't get bounced by first, no. Ah. I don't think he found Did one. Did he just take... Yeah, he didn't found one, so he, he put the dupe in the discard yeah. while I was checking. So we've got a military come in from Asher, Stealth, and Gren. Unopposed, she restands. Gren dies. Unopposed, power. Victorian going in with the power challenge, which will be unopposed. Takes the Kraken power as well, and then power claim, plus his renown too. So massive jump there for um, Isian, and he also wins Dom. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I think that's pretty much it. This is why it's such a short video, huh? Yeah. I get it. So um, Isian plays Famine. 
<laughs> you bastard, Isian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um... It's the game, you know? I think, uh... I think that's that's probably going to be it. Unless Alex finds something awesome. Well, that's pretty brutal. Yeah. So Being pretty strong. Two. You're great, Joe. They're, they're real flat track bullies. When they get going, <laughs> they're really hard to beat. But otherwise... You know, they can struggle sometimes. Yeah, great Greyjoys are <coughs> very, very mean, um, as we can see in that game. So unfortunately, that's it for Alex, and it seems through to the final. Um, so thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.